Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today I will be enjoying my third fresh hop. So this is Black Raven Brewing's 2022 Fresh Hop IPA. It's a West Coast IPA. West Coast, West Coast IPAs are very hop forward, um, kind of dialed up to 11 in the hop department, not necessarily in the malt and the, and the uh, ABV department, but in the hop department. And Black Raven Brewings in particular features a, a unique or a, a different hop strain every year. It says right here, Late summer in Washington is our hop harvesting season. We brew this beer annually, featuring a different hop varietal each time. And this time it's the Citra hop, which is kind of cool because that's one of the hops that I feel like I can recognize a little bit now. Um, I've enjoyed Ale Songs, um, Brett Touch of Citra. Um, and with a name like Citra, you can expect this to be Citrus, <laughs> citrus focus as far as flavors go. Yeah, so let's uh, crack this open and give it a try. This was bottled about three weeks ago now. Um, the date on the can says 9, 924 or 928, I think it was. Um, so it should be good as a fresh hop. Uh, fresh hops are much more um, I mean, there's a reason 99.99% of hops are dry, are kilned before they are kept, and that's because they go bad very quickly. So it is uh, critical that um, fresh hop beers be made quickly, right around hop season, and, um, and then it's also critical that they be drunk quickly because the hops simply don't, they, bro they break down far faster. So quite a bit ahead on this. I didn't take the time to wipe the cup or, or uh, wet the cup earlier, so that kind of served for head development, but <laughs> at least it's not a dirty glass. <laughs> so there's that. The uh, pour is a very nice golden color. Even without sticking my nose in it, I smelt some, um, some really creamy citrus notes just in the atmosphere, just in the air around it. <sighs> Diving in for a smell. Yeah, it's a uh, ruby grapefruit and other... It, like like kind of the, to the grapefruit side, orange and grapefruit side of the citrus. That's quite a nice smell. Uh, it's not super overpowering yet, which is probably due, at least in part, to the fact that we got an inch and a half ahead on this thing. I'm going to let that settle just a bit because I don't want to have a, a foam mustache before I <laughs> drink it. So just a minute here. Okay, so now that the head's diminished a little bit, and I have a chance of getting at it without <laughs> giving myself a head mustache, uh, let's uh, dive in here again. So yeah, definitely, it's definitely to the to the the orange and grapefruit side. However, it's very creamy smelling, which is really interesting. Normally, the creaminess would come in on the on the the, the flavor, the taste as I taste it, and that's going to be more common with a hazy IPA, with a northeast style IPA. But with this one, I can smell it. There's a distinctive creaminess to the head itself, to the, the the smell, which is pretty interesting, pretty intriguing. So let's uh, see how she drinks. Hmm. Wow. Okay. That is surprisingly sweet, which is something you wouldn't expect in a West Coast IPA. That's very interesting. That's very good. Oh, I like this one a lot. Um, I mean, I like everything Black Raven makes, and uh, this is no exception. So, so yes, there's... It's, it's almost a, a navel orange kind of sweetness. There's a hint of older orange in there. I don't know how many oranges you've eaten growing up. I grew up in Northern California, or how many oranges you've eaten. I grew up in Northern California. We had an orange tree in our front yard for three, four, five months every year. We'd have 
fresh oranges straight from our tree and they were super good but towards the end of the season uh, some of the oranges were uh, the cellular structure inside would be kind of stiffer and harder and they would lose some of the acidity and there'd be more of a, a round sweetness on the in the to the orange and um, and I think there's kind of a hint of that, which is kind of an interesting note. So we have this kind of orange and sweet grapefruit flavor. Um, you've got this creaminess. You've got these different layers of orange. And then you've got this really kind of interesting, like, orange pudding uh, finish to it that's surprisingly sweet. Like, surprisingly sweet for a West Coast IPA. That's really nice. There's a lot of layers going on here. It's definitely distinct from the other citra-based beers that I've had, citra hop-based beers that I've had. I can't tell whether that distinctness is due to the hops being fresh. I assume it is. I mean, every brewer, every beer, different recipe, different methods, different styles will produce a different output, but being a citra based beer this has some very interesting layers of of citrus going on and and i really enjoy that quite a lot that is tasty um so orange i mean you it's still hoppy you're still tasting the hops it's a hop forward beer assuming that is a traditional west coast ipa that is all about the hops where it's just it's a pale ale base that's not forgettable but just it's not about the malts. It's not about the pale malts. It's about the hops. Being a beer that's about the hops, assuming all this flavor is coming from the hops, those are some very interesting, very tasty, very enjoyable flavors. And I highly recommend this one if you can get it. But you want to get it soon because, like I said, fresh hop beers, you're not going to get them except for in the hop growing season. And you want to drink them quickly, else they'll be no good. I did find one other fresh hop beer um, when I was at Total Wine the other day, and it was one by Double Mountain, which is a very interesting little brewery down in Hood River I've had before. And um, I was surprised to find it there on the shelves at Total Wine, but there it was, so of course I grabbed it. And so there will be a fourth fresh hop uh, review, hopefully coming up sometime shortly. And because these are... Um, you know, short notice beers because there, there's a real finite window within which you'll want to buy and drink these beers. I'll probably be posting these beers kind of outside my normal cadence of weekly releases. Anyways, this has been Black Raven Brewing's Fresh Hop West Coast IPA featuring the Citra Hop. I'm Matthew. I've been chewing the brew. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side.